the dismissal follows the thorough investigation by the appointments board and Dr. Aaron Lawrence's failure to turn up for the disciplinary committee meetings he was summoned to. While addressing the press, Vice Chancellor of Chambago University, Professor Erika Tonguka Rochishaya, revealed some of the charges the university imposed on Dr. Aaron, which included tarnishing the university image, abscondiment from duty, among others, by the investigations committee. In the final meetings of the appointments board, Dr. Aaron was charged with three accounts. The first account was one, acts or omissions that damage the image or status of the university, contrary to the Regulation 10.5 to be of the Human Resources Manual 2014, as amended in 2022. So the act that he committed, or the omission that he committed, caused damage to the university. Many of you know that you are reporting about Chambogo University. Chambogo University, it was in the news for the wrong reasons, and many NGOs, many NGOs who are supporting us, supporting people with disabilities, were up in arms. They besieged my office on many occasions and wanted to know what action we are taking to have him disciplined. And we explained everything. We did not have anything to hide regarding this gentleman. The second act, or the second charge, which was leveled against him, was willful insubordination. Willful insubordination. Because he was asked to come and appear before the board, and he did not come. Professor Katunka has revealed that following the meeting held on 24th July 2024, Appointments Board Disciplinary Committee dissolved after receiving and considering the written submission from the university legal team agreed to dismiss Dr. Aaron Lawrence. Appointments Board went through all the steps that were required. And finally, they found him guilty of all those three counts and dismissed him from the university service. This is what happened, I think, in a, recently in the appointments board, which sat on July, I think. Yeah, 24th July, 2024. However, Dr. Aaron's defilement case is currently being handled by court following his arrest recently. So finally, he, I think he handed himself over to the police. I don't know what happened. Either he handed himself over or he was arrested. You people of the media may be no better, but for us we heard that he handed himself over to the police and is now in custody and they will, they, they will take appropriate measures. Besides this, Professor Erika Tonguka has clarified on the issue of increasing the tuition fees, saying that the University Council agreed the adjustment of tuition fees and a decision still stands despite getting resistance from some student leaders. What happened was, over time, the University reviews programs. And when programs are reviewed, members of staff propose new changes in the fee structure and also in the content of the program. And this matter is taken to council and approved. So this time round, this slight increment in, in fees was taken to council and approved and it was supposed to, it is going to start in 2024 2025, meaning it affects the incoming first year students and not continuing students. He says that the university is historically known for charging low institution fees despite the increased expenses. And I say that Chambogo continues to charge the least fees among all public institutions. And there was only a slight increment in fees in two faculties the faculty of the, the School of Management and Entrepreneurship, which increased their fees from about 700,000 to 1 million. And also, I think there was something in the built environment where they increased their fees, I think, especially in architecture, to bring it to about, I'll tell you, about 1.5 million. He further adds that students' concerns and misunderstandings about the tuition fees adjustments and threatening to disrupt the semester will not be tolerated. I constituted a committee to review the fees of the university. And this committee has presented their report. 
and the comprehensive review of university fees is going to take place. Not this year, but maybe next year. Because we cannot continue operating at this rate. We cannot continue charging 420,000. That's laughable. Julius Momuza, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.